Hi, it's Beth Kingston with a quick tip on how to use your Xyron machine and crepe paper to make a cute rosette for banners, cards, any kind of project. All you need is two round circles. It doesn't matter the size. I made mine about two and a half inches so I can run them through my two and a half inch creative sticker. And you're going to take some crepe paper, which is incredibly inexpensive, all kinds of colors. I'm going to peel off about a yard or so and cut it with my scissors. And I'm going to take both of my circles and run them through my Create a Sticker. The bottom circle um, can be using any piece of scrap paper because you're not going to see it. And then the top circle, of course, is the pattern paper that you're going to want to have showing. Peel those off. Now what you're going to do is take your scrap circle and flip it so that the adhesive is facing up on your table. Then you're going to take your crepe paper, and I just want to make sure I have straight ends on both sides. And you want to go in about maybe a quarter of an inch, press down, and then you're just going to finger fold all the way around in a circle. It does not matter uh, if they're evenly spaced. It does not matter if they're straight. It does not matter if it doesn't look like a circle, because I'll show you a great tip when I'm done. You can make the folds as far apart as you'd like or as close together as you'd like. And you want to make sure you stay around the edge of the circle because you want to have plenty of adhesive left over in the middle to hold your other piece of pattern paper on. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling. And you'll want to hold it down with your finger, but it'll also be attaching itself to your circle underneath. And then when you get to the end, you want to actually overlap where you started so that you don't have a gap when you cut your rosette. And I'll show you what I mean as I... So here I'm coming to the end, and if I just stopped where they touched, I'd have this kind of V gap, so I want to actually keep going a little bit more. And then I'm going to cut the excess off. And now, I'm going to take my other circle and slap it right in the center. It does not have to be exactly in the center lined up with your other circle. Try to kind of center it where your crepe paper circle is working. And if it's totally lopsided to one side, you can trim it. Take your scissors and kind of trim around a little bit. Um, you can leave it big. You can trim it around and make it small. And then I just want to add a cute little star embellishment to the center. I'm going to take my Mega Runner, slap it on. That only took about a couple seconds. This would be perfect for birthday parties, um, banners, invitations, and more. For more great project ideas, come check out Zyron on Facebook and Pinterest.